Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by WindowsLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set your Windows 11 taskbar icons to never combine with the free Explorer Patcher utility. Now, I have a travel laptop, and I upgraded it a little while ago to Windows 11 just to, you know, play around with it. I use it for email when I'm on the road and stuff like that. No, no serious work, though. Well, recently I decided to do some serious work on my travel laptop while I was away. And I, as I got to using it, I discovered I really hate the fact that Microsoft made it so that the taskbar icons are always grouped. I bounce around between different windows a lot. And most of the time, I like to keep multiple copies of like Chrome open. And I like to see which one's which so I can just quickly come down here and click on it. But with Windows 11, you've got to come and you've got to hover over this for a moment and then t take a look at all these and go, oh, okay, that's the one I want, and then click on it. I hate that. I don't like that behavior at all. This grouped taskbar, it takes up less space, but I think it's pr unproductive. It's very difficult to multitask this way. And like I said, you got to hover over each icon and wait for a second and then try to decide which one of those little windows you want. So I want the ability to ungroup the icons on the taskbar just like you could in Windows 10 and pretty much every previous version of Windows I can think of. I really, really hate the fact that Microsoft didn't include this feature in Windows 11. Fortunately, there's a free utility called Explorer Patcher that you can download and install that fixes the problem. Here's the URL right there. I will include a link down below in the description under the video window that you can click on and go there directly. So here it is, it's on GitHub, which I'm sure Alex is just loving the fact that I'm finally getting something off of GitHub for once. He's been bugging me to try it for a while. Now, is everything that you get from GitHub safe? No, but this has been around for a while and it's got 7.7 .7 thousand people that have started, which is basically they've liked it. So if there's a problem with something like this, it'll someone will say something. And when I downloaded it, Windows Defender popped up and said it's an unknown publisher. You just have to click OK and let it install. Uh, scroll down here a little bit till you find the setup program, how to download the latest version of the setup program. Click on that. That'll download to your downloads folder. I've already downloaded it once. That's why it says 1.exe. Then just click on it. All right, Windows protected your PC. Just click on more info and then run anyway. And before you click on that, I will tell you that I take no responsibility for whatever might be on this page that you download. I've done it. It's safe. I think it's okay, but you take your own risk, of course. I would never recommend anything to you guys that is potentially dangerous. All right, you'll get the user control thing that pops up, and you have to click OK to that, too. Now, it may take a second. In fact, the first time I installed it, I've installed it and then uninstalled it like three times now testing it on this machine. The first time I installed it, it took a second. It was like it, almost like it froze. So wait like maybe 10, 15 seconds before you panic. And then all of a sudden it just came on. Now, the, the subsequent uh, two times that I've installed it, once it was installed, it just it, it worked right away. So here it is. And you can see I've got my functionality back. Uh, a few settings you might want to change. Find an empty spot on your taskbar, right click, and you'll see this properties right here. That's new. That's what this thing installs. Okay. First thing you have to do if it's not set already for you, it was when I downloaded it, but older versions it didn't. If you drop this down, you have to pick Windows 10 as the taskbar style. If you're using Windows 11 style, it won't work with this. Okay. Here's a lot of things in here you can set in the normal taskbar properties. For example, location on the screen top, bottom, left, right, that kind of stuff. But what we're looking for is right down here, combine taskbar icons on primary taskbar. I go with never combine, that's the default, and on the secondary taskbars. I have multiple monitors, even on my travel laptop, I got an extra screen that I plug in. I can't, I, I just can't work on one screen, I'm so spoiled. I got four screens on my desktop in my office, I, I, I can't, unless I'm just reading email, I, I can't. <laughs> I like the large icons, you can go small if you wanna save a little more space. I, I don't have the best eyesight, so I gotta, you know, I gotta go with the larger ones. You may have to restart File Explorer, which is this guy down here, and it'll restart any uh, uh, File Explorer windows you've got once you apply these settings. For me, I didn't have to; it just came right on. But if it doesn't work right away, click on the Restart File Explorer link. 
There's a whole bunch of other settings in here that I haven't really even played with yet. I just wanted this for the taskbar stuff, but there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this a little bit later today and see what the, what the neat stuff's in there. So I'm going to close this. One other thing I like to do, I'm going to right-click and go to taskbar settings. This brings up the standard built-in Windows 11 taskbar settings. Scroll down. I like to go to taskbar behaviors. And for me, if you've got multiple displays, I like this setting. It's it's uh, show. You can show an icon on all the taskbars. So if you've got, let's say, Windows Explorer or, um, or, or Chrome open on one monitor, it'll show up on all the taskbars the main taskbar and the taskbar when, where the window's open. So you'll always see it on your main taskbar, you'll, your main display, plus the window it's open. But I like this one. Just show it where it's open. If, if I've got Chrome open and it's on my right monitor, I don't need to see its icon in an open status on every monitor. So I like that setting too. So those are my, some of my favorite settings. So like I said, I gave it a good virus scan. Everything seems to be safe with me. It's got 7,000 likes. Um, I've installed it and uninstalled it a few times, and it seems to work just fine. It'll be in your add and programs. The guy who built this really seems to know what he's doing. So if you use this and you like it, I want you to donate to the author. There's his information right there. You'll find it on that same page. Just scroll down a little further. You'll find his donate link. I sent him a few bucks. If you're going to use this, uh, contribute to authors that make free software, please. I've written a few things, and you know, speaking as someone who I you know, post a lot of free videos, you know, send the guy a donation, okay? If you use this product, send him something, a couple bucks even. Buy him a cup of coffee. What I'd also like you to do is to complain to Microsoft. There's a whole ton of people that are very unhappy with this, the fact that they, you know, when they released Windows 11, they didn't include this very important functionality, and we shouldn't have to install a patch or another utility to give us back functionality we're used to from previous versions. I had the same beef when they did the, uh, the ribbon upgrade in Microsoft Office when they took the file edit view uh, menu. Now, granted, years later, I'm, I'm happy with the ribbon. I've gotten used to it, but this is something that, that should still be in Windows. So there's a thread on their tech community page. Here's a link right there. It's a real long, big link, so I made a short link on my website for it. Click on this. Give them your two cents. Tell them that you're not happy with this. Right? The more people that complain, the more likely they'll be to add this feature back in. Right? I gave them my two cents, and you know, if you want, just copy that if you want to. I don't care. <laughs> I'd like to give special thanks to Kevin Robertson, one of my website forum moderators, for recommending Explorer Patcher to me. See, even I need help once in a while. I've got a great group of guys helping to answer questions on my website, all types of questions, mostly Microsoft Access, but, you know, Excel, Word, Windows, this kind of stuff, too. I posted this question in my own Windows forum on my website, and Kevin came to my rescue. And then, of course, Alex was all excited that there's GitHub. Oh, do I see GitHub? <laughs> And Scott chimed in, and then Dan came in with a bunch of funny memes. So, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how we roll on my website. <laughs> so stop by sometime and check it out and have some fun with us. Okay, so this has been your fast tip for today. I hope you learned something, and I hope this utility uh, makes you more productive like you used to be under Windows 10. And thanks again to uh, user Valinet on GitHub for putting together this, uh, this fantastic little utility. So again, I hope you learned something today and we'll see you next time.